this is last year, summer, I was um, invited to go to Shanghai, which is my hometown, to uh, be an artist in resident in IDEO. And it's, it's called the Creative Fortnite Program. And it's the first time they did it in China. What they had in brief is you need to create something that is going to resonate with the people and the space. The creative process you need to share with everyone. You're going to share how you come up with the idea, and you need to talk to almost everyone in the space so that everybody get engaged. And I also realized that food culture in Shanghai was huge. So everybody was trying uh, to, to, to engage me with new type of dumplings. One of the most common kinds of dumpling in China is called the wonton. So, so wonton dumpling, what's, what's up with wonton? Why is it called wonton? And I never really thought about it. And I started to do research. And this is like a mind-blowing research. I realized, let, let's get ready for this. I realized that in Chinese character, wonton, which is almost similar character to, uh, and the same pronunciation, if you speak Chi uh, Chinese Mandarin, you would know, uh, Huendun is the same pronunciation as primordial chaos, Huendun. And, and if you really look at the international cuisine of dumpling, um, the reason why they all have some form of dumpling, which is a pocket with something inside, you don't know what's exactly inside until you take a bite of it, and, and so the activity of eating a dumpling, which is taking a bite of this little pocket of food and discover what's inside, is a metaphorical way of explaining people discover the universe and open up a new possibility. You didn't expect that, right? <laughs> um, after more research, in the Ming Dynasty, uh, in the 1300 to 1600, in the classic mountain and sea, has an illustrated version of wonton, which is the primordial chaos, being personified into a character that has six legs, four wings, with no face, but according to the, the record, it's good at singing and dancing. So I came up with the very uh, first version of, of my universe of the tiny chaos, and, um, and, or the wonton, and I present it to the team, and everybody kind of really think it has a lot of potential. Um, the other thing I did is um, I started to create different uh, activity of the dumpling, what, what it can do, uh, and, and also starting to engage with the team. So I came up with some basic uh, activity or, or design styles, and then I engage with the team, whether you're a designer, whether you're a manager, whether you're a team lead. This is amazing. Like It's a, a whole spectrum of the team, from leadership team to business development team to someone who's working IT to co-create together. And if you don't feel comfortable drawing, that's fine. You can still write down what you want to see. And so we have all all these really fun, this is just some of them, all these really fun sort of ideas that people contributed to the, the project. Um, and they come up with their own way of explaining what they want to see the, the little wonton character do. And I would implement, I would choose some of them and implement them into uh, WeChat stickers. Because in China, most people are using WeChat as a sort of media messaging platform. And you can implement that right away onto WeChat platform. And we also did some international versions that honoring the people coming from around the world. Uh, and, and this is a really interesting, delightful, but also surprising uh, process of literally within two weeks, we come up with all these things together. And it's also really great to engage with people online and offline as well, so we can actually send the little character uh, right after I came up with the design, and we can use it literally the day after or two days after. It's really amazing to see how we can bring online and offline things together. Uh, also, by the end of my project, I present this presentation, and everybody walk away with their favorite character of the, the dumpling. Uh, so we have offline versions of the tiny chaos or, or wonton. I, I print them into different prints and give away to every single person that's involved in this project. And so this is a great sort of example of, for the first time, I was able to actualize my dream, which is really bringing art online and offline through engaging with a larger uh, amount of people and co-create this experience together. So this is um, IDEO Shanghai creative um, Fortnite program. It's like a creative gym for people. You go to the gym to exercise your muscle, um, but you don't necessarily get a chance to really kind of 
exercise the mind outside of the work that you do. So this is kind of allowing people to have that extra space to think outside of their workspace. And I think it's, it's fantastic because it also is a great way for me to communicate with a lot of creative people and also people who are in IT space, people who are in um, accounting space, who, who are in legal space, and, and see their creative self being unleashed.